I want to pull up this tweet from the DeSantis War Room. And, uh, okay, my let, let's pull this up. My personal opinion is slightly negative on this tweet. I think it is cringe. I think DeSantis' team is correct. And they deserve... So on, on the political point of this video, they deserve the credit. Their criticisms are fair. But man, you guys ready for this? Let's oh, go. Yeah. They tweeted yeah. to wrap up Pride Month. Let's hear from the politician who did more than any other Republican to celebrate it. Here we go. I will do oh, can you fix the audio? Yeah, try now. Nope. Wait, there we go. I, do, there we go. I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens. If Caitlyn Jenner were to walk into Trump Tower <laughs> and want to use the bathroom, you would be fine with her using any bathroom she chooses. That is correct. In the future, can transgender women compete in this universe? Yes. Make America great again. Man, it's growing on me. I cannot think of anything more horrifying. It really has shut down. Drag. Just produced some of the harshest, most draconian laws that literally threaten trans existence. Congratulations, Ron Sanders. Mission accomplished. You win. I can't do it. I, I'm, I, look, look, look. Okay. I, I, I like the music. I think the point being made is correct. I don't, I am not as critical as Trump for, you know, in the past when he held up the LGBT flag and all that stuff. He is not talking about what we are currently seeing. He was talking about other things. There are many people that we are friends of and fans of that previously did align themselves with the traditional LGBT stuff. And Trump, I believe, was correct to be like, hey, those people are good. They're going to vote for us. What we're seeing now is very, very different. To smear him over that, I think is wrong. But Trump absolutely was not as as harsh. Ron DeSantis is absolutely going after this in the, in, in the culture war more so than any other leader. But the American psycho bit and the Chad meme stuff, it's just, it's, it's too, it, like, if they took that out and just showed clips of DeSantis, like, pointing to the press and, like, answering questions with news articles, I'd give it an A+. Plus. The weird meme things is too much I, like, I'm with it, <laughs> kids. I like it. I have a preference for Trump over DeSantis, but I, I like this video. I think it's good. Yeah. You like it's it? It's catchy, yeah. <clears throat> I like it over the top. Yeah. Uh, the music uh, works for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They only need to show Brad Pitt's face once. They showed it twice. <laughs> and American, American Psycho. American Psycho's great. Yeah, the second <laughs> shot of the That's Psycho. so good. I just... It's like, is, is he trying to align himself with being a psychopath? No, it's and, very like, Gen Z. Well, so the Patrick saying. Bateman, the oh, okay. the American Psycho memes, those are big on TikTok and when Chelsea. Uh, so it's very. I'm just not, I, I guess I'm. <laughs> just you're the one that stuck with it. <laughs> but but my, my, that's that's my point. Like Ron DeSantis is older than me. Why is he like trying to? Like, are the kids going to be like, "Wow, he's so cool"? He's but they're like they're not going to vote for him anyways. Uh, statistically, Gen Z just doesn't turn out. But are you Gen Z? Yeah. You're going to vote for him, right? No. <laughs> would you Would you vote for him if it wasn't Trump? No. Really? No. Who's on your yeah, Who's your top contenders either. right now? I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, Trump would be at the. I have a preference for Trump at the moment. What about Vivek? I do like Vivek a lot. And um, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. RFK, I love because he challenges the system, but he's still anti two A. Yeah. Oh. So, but I do. I I will support him just because I think he has an important message. Yeah. He still is a Democrat, so if you leave yeah. Republican, you're not gonna like him. Yeah. But. I was this this Trump stuff. I didn't know that Trump was all in on the inviting. See, this is the thing. If someone had asked him, are you OK with letting a trans political movement indoctrinate children into becoming trans and having sex surgeries? He probably would have been like, no. Like, what are you talking about? Of course, that's yeah. crazy. So but I don't think wasn't he's, this is stuff from back in 2015. Yeah, like eight years. He didn't ago. see yeah. it coming. I mean, remember it, whenever he debated Palin, Joe Biden was against gay marriage. Everyone's opinion shifts over time, as, especially if they're their uh, political cohorts changed their opinion. And I think we have to give Trump a lot of credit when he was talking in 2015, 
no one knew exactly where it was going. Some people could have predicted that we'd be selling uh, gender affirming bathing suits to children in Target, but not a lot of people. Tuck friendly. That. Well, to Tuck friendly. those are for adults. It's just gender affirming when it's for children. <laughs> to what Ian said, it's like, listen, I love the pride flag because now I know if I'm on like a street, I know which are the gay bars. Oh, that's a gay bar. So I think, you know, that's good that we should have pride flags. I'm not like against, you know, canceling the pride flag. But what does a pride flag symbolize? Is it, the only difference between me and a gay person or a straight person and a gay person is their sexual preference. So this flag basically indicates your sexual preference. Why does that need to be in a school? Like that's Why does a, that need to be on a flag? Well, I mean, I listen, you want to have that on a flag? Go ahead. You want to do butt stuff and have a flag for it? Actually, <laughs> go ahead. But why are we going to put it in the kindergarten classroom? That's where, and I think even though they're kind of trolling Trump, I think Trump, like you said, would probably have that same feeling. Like, obviously gay people exist, but I just don't want you grooming my children. Yeah. Right. I also think just both the Trump and DeSantis teams on social media, especially on Twitter, are really cringe. It's just getting too much. Yeah, the internet I, is so cringe right now to, with the Trump and DeSantis. Down. Dude, I just... Just, just stop. I... Look, if this really worked for Gen Z, I stand corrected. If, if, if the kids on TikTok are watching this video and now they're inspired to vote for DeSantis... They're not going to. All right. But I, I just like look the at production it like, value of it. I think it's good. It's I don't think it was made by them either. They're reposting no. Proud Elephant. I'm just like, it's it's getting, I don't know, man. It's cringe. Yeah. It's it's cringe on both sides. 